think she's gone. What if she comes back? No, we can't stay here, definitely. We can't stay here. Come on. Come on, we need to go, Francine. Come on. Smash it! If I smash the thing, then maybe she can't get through. We can finally get out of this fucking place! I'm not saying it wasn't enjoyable, but... It wasn't what you had in mind. Exactly, it caught me off guard. I bet it did! <laughs> <laughs> Where is Kate? She said she was on her way. She had something to pick up first. You know what she's like with directions. We could be waiting for hours. <laughs> she's the one that chose the place. I'm sure she'll manage to find it okay. Speak of the devil. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that? 
Hi, you're pregnant. Servant is over. Hello, Elena. Hi, nice girls. You didn't tell me she was coming. Didn't I? I slipped my mind. This is nice, isn't it? The four of us back together again for the weekend. And where exactly are we? Well, I'm glad you asked. Buckle up, girls, because we are going on a wellness retreat. Oh, it's going to be relaxation. Spa sessions, facials, wine, all within these woods. Uh, we're going the long way around though, so we can go on a trek first. Great. It's gonna be magical, right? The perfect place for you two to reconnect. Come on, it's gonna be a fun weekend. The four of us back together again like it used to be. Come on. Turn those frowns upside down. We're nearly there. I think it's just through the trees. Well, then it won't matter if I take a break, will it? Just as it won't matter if we keep going. Come on. No. God, why do you think? Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Guys, Kate, Elena, you guys go ahead. Danny and I will catch up. Fine. Right? Yeah. Right. <sighs> Honestly, why did you invite her? I thought that it was going to be a nice, relaxing weekend, just the three of us. Well, it is. Just with the four of us. What? Well, we just thought it's about time that you two, you know, made peace. I'm not going to make peace with her. Honestly, I'd be happy to never see her again. But you don't mean that. Actually, I do. <sighs> Danny, if you go into it with this attitude, then yeah, expect a shit weekend. Come on, you two used to be the best of friends before all this drama. Let it go. Life is too short. Besides, Kate and I, we missed the gang. Look, if you two can't see eye to eye by the end of the weekend, then we'll drop it, OK? We'll let it go. You both go your separate ways, done. But I think it deserves one last shot. Please. OK. Oh, this OK? Yeah, I'll take this back. <laughs> Are we sure this is the place? Yeah. I was imagining more wellness. Mm. Mm, like tents and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like teepees. Do you reckon they have a hot tub? Or a pool? I don't know. It was super cheap. Where did you find it? Online. It's a good offer. The host is dead friendly though. He said she's going to do loads of activities with us and stuff. <laughs> and let me guess, you haven't heard from the host in a week and she's asked to see photos of your feet. <laughs> oh God. I really hope this is not on per fucking with us. Um, a pair who owns a place like this, it's lush. Come on. This place is huge. Hello? Is 
anyone there? I was sort of joking before, but now I'm kind of serious. What if a guy just pops out with a fucking machete right now? Oh, stop watching his horror film. <laughs> yeah, four girls walk into an abandoned building. Haven't seen that film before. Oh, stop it, come on. Why am I getting flashbacks to school dinners? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, hi, I'm Kate. We spoke online. Oh, of course. Yes, it's lovely to meet you. And um, these must be your friends? Yeah, this is Danny, Elena and Morgan. Perfect. I'm um, really glad you're here. Where is everyone? I'm sorry? All the other guests. Oh, um, right, yeah, no, it's low season, so there won't be other guests staying here this weekend. Well, low season? I would have thought it would be high season because the weather's so nice out. Fun! So that means we get the place to ourselves then. Exactly. So, the bedrooms are upstairs. Feel free to drop your bags off, choose a room or a bunk, and well, now you won't all be clumped together. Oh, that, that is music to my ears. Mm -hmm. that we bought these, do you? The, the booze and the crisps and stuff. Oh, why would I mind? I don't know, I, I just know that some retreats are really funny about alcohol and carbs, you know, it's green smoothies and tea. We just weren't sure if this was one of those places. Oh, no, it's, it's not a strict retreat. It's um, more about doing the right thing for you. Kind of like self-care. That kind of thing. Cool. Sounds good. Yes, it's completely fine. It's welcome. Thanks. So, um, Kate said you had some activities planned? Activities? Yeah, you were going to do some activities with all of us. Oh, right, yes, those activities, um, yeah, sorry, um, well, it's a bit late to do anything now, but I thought maybe tomorrow we could go out and do yoga, which will be outside, and we could do a nature walk. Right, sorry, that's it. We'll go on a walk in nature. So it's really lovely here, don't, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. So we might as well make the most of it. I mean, this is the perfect place to find wellness. In nature. I mean... Cool. I mean, I don't, I don't know, you know, already, if you've got plans for tomorrow night, please say, but um, we were hoping that we could have a campfire. Would that be possible, or...? Oh, I, oh yeah, I yeah. don't see why not. I mean, um, you'd have to collect firewood on your wall, because we don't have any here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we might. Yeah. Thanks. It's only a matter of time, really. Um, I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. It's all right, I'm not going to bite. All right, you prefer backstabbing. Danny! It's fine. I'm gonna go freshen up. Do you have to be so catty? Do you have to invite her? Yes. Do you know how annoying it is always having to make two sets of plans? Mm -hmm. That is not fair, because I never asked Just you to... 
please just try for me what me and Morgan really wanted it to be a fun weekend like a reunion the four of us back together again after everything that's not fair Kate she really hurt me I know but it was four years ago you've both moved on and grown up since neither of you are the same people you used to be at school just try for me just give it a chance please fine fine, fine. <laughs> she just she winds me up so much yeah because she knows you so well and you both really do love each other Mm, yeah, you do. Why she wouldn't be this annoyed? I hate when you get all wise. <laughs> I know, but where would you be without me? Oh, definitely not here. Uh, Honestly, Kate, does this not feel a bit weird to you? Um, it's a little bit unorthodox, no. yeah. But we do have the whole place to ourselves. But is that a good thing? Mm, yeah. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. It's gonna be fun. Trust me. I admire your optimism. <laughs> but just, you know, for tonight, I'm just gonna get my own room. Danny. It's fine. I just, I need my own space. Fine. I'm doing well. I thought I'd have left already. I'm just going to take the room up the hall, okay? Sure. Come on. Morgan, you missed the movie. Oh, sorry, look, I'm on a deadline. I just really need to get this finished. Mm. What is it you're doing? Uh, working. <laughs> Morgan's a journalist, she never stops working. Oh, wow. What's the story? Hmm? What are you covering? Um, it's an article I told you about for the French Times. I didn't know it was for the French Times. Yeah. Yeah, I've just, um, I don't know, I found this one really hard to cover though. Getting the interviews from the victims' families was a tough one. No one was willing to budge, but got there in the end, got something cooking. Well, I'd rather you than me. Anyway, I'm really tired, so I'm going to bed. Night, everyone. Night. Night. I'm going to have to bed too. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming. Have you finished your drink? Uh, no, you can leave it, thank you. Good night, Well, I guess I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Will you be all right by yourself? Yeah, no, I'll be fine. Fine, thank you. Uh, sleep well.
Yeah. We're in. We're ready to go. Um. Yeah. Just give me a second. I just need to get changed. I'll be there soon. Okay. Ladies, please take a deep breath. And now on your hands and knees. Kate's favourite position. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> right, hands and knees for some cat and cow stretches. And to child's pose. Right. To finish off, let's have a moment of meditation. Everyone breathe in. And out. <coughs> Sorry. Must have just been lost. Anyway, let's move on to the nature walk. Um, I think we should split into two groups. What a cool idea! Elena, Danny, why don't you two go together and we'll stay together? Mm -hmm. We'll go with Francine. Seriously? I think it's a great idea. Oh yeah, of course you do. Um, oh, don't forget we need some more uh, wood for the campfire. Francine, care to lead the way? Um, yes, Danny and Elena, you can head up that way. There's a clear pathway, so you can meet us back here in an hour. Bye. Bye. So what's new with you? Not much. I saw you got that job you wanted at the doggy well, daycare. How did you know that? I thought I'd blocked you on all socials. Not all of them. I mm, must have forgotten. Anyway, you... Well, how about we go look for some firewood, huh? Looks like there's some great branches over there. Okay, fine. Oh, this is so nice. I know, it must be amazing living in a place like this. I don't live here. You don't? I mean, I have a place in town that I go to when the retreat is closed. Oh, right. But you're from around here, aren't you? Yeah. So what, you just run this place alone? Well, I kind of got tired to it, but... I'm hoping to give it up soon, you know, hand it over to someone new. So, how do you four girls know each other? <laughs> oh, we go way back. We went to school together. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, nice. Childhood friends. <laughs> yeah. What, we've known each other since we were 12? Uh, it must be. We were in year seven when we met, weren't we? Yeah, but Elena and Danny have known each other longer, though. Yeah, I think they were like seven or eight when we met. <laughs> Madness, honestly. Oh, such a shame when it all unravels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought I felt some tension there. You yeah, could say that again. Yeah, there was um, an incident a few years back. Mm. They haven't spoken since. Tore the uh, friendship group apart. This is like the first time we've seen each other since, right? Mm hmm. I'm so sorry. That's what I've been telling them, but we're hoping they make it up. It's not what I meant. I 
up to? You know, the usual. Actually, no, I don't know. Because we haven't spoken for four years. Yeah, well, there's a reason for that. What do you want me to do, Danny? I can't take back what happened. An apology would have been a good start. I did apologise. Actually, Elena, no, you didn't. It's not like I meant for it to happen. Sure, sure, but where was the actual sorry that I slept with your boyfriend? I was 17. We were idiots back yeah, then. Yes, some more than others. In some ways, I did you a favour. Excuse me? Max was a piece of shit. I helped you to realise that. By fucking him? Oh, yeah, you're a real oh, that's hero. That's not what I meant. Oh, sorry, what did you mean? Just that, you know, you guys were never going to be together forever. Oh, my God, he's not the Of first. course not. And if you must know, the real dad's not in the picture either. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I don't want your pity. No, we're talking about you. I don't want to talk about a mistake I made way back in school. Unbelievable. You really don't care about what you did, do you? Why are you still so hung up about really? this? Really? It's not a big really? deal anymore. My, my mum and dad were getting a divorce and Max was the only one who was there We were me. all oh, there And now you. I find out that you, Elena, my best friend... How do you what think I felt? You wouldn't take any of my calls. You wouldn't let me well, try maybe to explain. you should have thought about that me out of life. With the... Maybe we should go back. Nature art girls. Yeah, delightful. Yeah, it was a real hoot. Anyone want to help me make lunch? Yeah, I'll help. See you guys in there. Don't ask. Come on. There you go. Thanks, babe. It's all right. Well, this is weird. What's that? Francine's wellness guide. <laughs> You speak Latin? The classics, don't I? Not that I can understand too much. Wow. <laughs> Hi, um, could you guys help Danny with the fire, please? Does she really need all of us to help? Ignore her, Francine. Of course we can. Thanks, um, she's just down by the fire pit. Well, I'm going to go and get changed first. Oh, uh, Francine, while I've got you, can I grab a receipt for this, please? I can cash this as a work expense. Um, my laptop's actually died, so... Oh, that's cool. Whenever you get a minute, it would be great. Sure thing. Thank you. Francine. Where have you been? We've been worried. It's fine, I'm fine. My laptop died. Um, hey, is there any chance you could come pick me up tonight? Like maybe midnight, please. Yeah, sure. But what's going on? Where are you? I'll send you my location. Okay. Look, your mum's been worried. She thought something had happened to you. He said, come now, please. Sorry, I was just um, using the laptop. Um, I was checking my email so I could send through the invoice. Hi, um, uh, we can't find the matches. Do you know where they are? Ah, yeah, I'll show you. Come on. She was. <laughs> she was so bad. She was like, do you think this is appropriate to ball? <laughs> you all right? Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, has everyone got their liquid self-care? Um, yeah. Is there any other kind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you remember Mrs. Norbert, Danny? Mrs. Norbert. Hey, wasn't she our French teacher? Mm -hmm. But didn't we call her something else? Miss Norbert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, yes! And then someone wrote that on the board. It was me. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot that. I can't believe we passed our A level. <laughs> um, Excuse me, I work for my grades, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Morgan was too busy studying to come up with the likes of us. Yeah, but then she got absolutely hammered at prom. <laughs> and who was the fool that hosted the after party? Mm. I was actually cleaning puke up my carpets for weeks. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. <laughs> so, well, we have blamed the dog. <laughs> Here's to shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> and may there be many more. Mm-hmm. I've missed this. The same here. You know what I don't miss? Walking past that creepy old hospital every day. Oh yeah, the one on Shepherd Street. Yeah. That gave me the creeps. Wait, did someone die there? People <laughs> die in hospital all the time. No, <laughs> but like they actually died there. Like loads of odd things that happening is that to close the place down. I definitely saw a face in the window mm. once. Oh no, don't. Just thinking about that gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> What's up with a little ghost story? You are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> or what about the one about the little girl who always wore a bright red ribbon around mm. her neck and then one day someone called her mm. and, and then her, her head rolled off. off. Yeah, I've heard that <laughs> one. <laughs> what about this one? Mm. A woman was alone at home sitting at her desk and she reached her hand under the desk and stroked her dog, only for her to remember when she pulled her hand back that she didn't have a dog. How ridiculous. Like, <laughs> a ghost story though. <laughs> okay, 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 I've got one. It was a dark night and a couple were driving down the country lane. You girls all right out oh here? My God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's not your fault. We were just telling ghost stories, unfortunately. Do you want to join us, fun scene? You don't mind? Oh, of course not. Take a seat. Oh, do you remember when we did that Ouija board? Oh, God, yeah. that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you don't have to listen to this if you don't want to. No, no, I don't mind. I mean, I've never done a Ouija board before, but I have a pretty good story, if any of you want to hear it. Um, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> have you heard of Bloody Mary? The ghost in the mirror? Yeah, that's the one. Apparently, her legend began in these woods. Mm, even better. Centuries ago, there was a witch named Mary Ware. She lived in these woods. And at first glance, she seemed peaceful. She visited the townsfolk with her remedies and healing spells. One day, the baby died. No one knew how or why. However, not long after, the young girls at the village began to go missing. When the villagers realized it was Mary who was luring them into a cottage, they broke in. And they found her bathing in their blood. Mary had gone mad with the grief of losing her child. She started luring young virgins to the cottage slitting their throats, then using their blood to help resurrect her baby. The townsfolk labeled her Bloody Mary. They dragged her out of the cottage. They built a pie and burned her at the stake. And as she burned, she vowed that if anyone dare say her name in a mirror, she'd come for them. Since then, um, all it takes is 
for someone to say Mary's name three times in a mirror and she'll appear. Heaven help me. <laughs> now that is a ghost story. It's not true though, is it? Of course not, it's made <laughs> up. Elena and I were out in the woods earlier and we heard something. Oh, oh, it was probably just the wind. It's not going to be a centuries old witch, is it? Oh, well, you never know. You don't believe in? Of course not. Why don't you do the incantation then? What? You know, say her name three times. I dare you. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. See, I told you. <laughs> well, it actually only works if you do it in front of a mirror. Oh, yes, the vital step. At least film it. It could go viral, girls. Mm. So, you want me to actually go inside to find a mirror to prove that this is actually rubbish? Of course, mm. we do. I don't know. I mean, I had a friend once do the incantation. And she swore she saw a glimpse of Mary in the mirror. No offence, Francine, but your friend's making that up. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Well... That won't work. I mean, you could. All do it at the same time, in different rooms. However, apparently, um, She'll only appear if you do it on your own. Well, that's a stupid rule. It is the typical paranormal shit. Well, we'll just have to try it for ourselves and confirm that, won't we? Come on then, let's go inside and find a mirror. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Careful, careful. Right, right. Yeah, there's answers. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary.
Yeah, screw you, it's on a different page. Show off. Francine, are you going somewhere? I'm sorry, I, I can't. Well, that's why I'm yelling. I can't, there's nothing I can do. Wait, Francine, where are you going? I can't see, I'm sorry. She's acting really weird. She in here. No, I think she was. everything you lost. George, thank God you're here. Yeah. You're ready to go. I brought Tony along. Hope you don't mind. Oh, no, it's fine. Come on.
Just like the one we passed a few minutes ago. Ah, it must be another old building or something. Yeah. I think this has been a mistake. Can you let me out here, please, George? Why? We literally just picked you up from here. Don't worry about it. Are you sure that's a good idea? I've left something there anyway. Are you sure you want us to drop you here? Lily, it's fine. Is everything okay? Lily, it's fine. What was that? I think it came from inside. George, don't! Honestly, trust me! I think something's hurt in there. Don't go in there. Talk. 
to the bar. Don't go in. Hello? Is everyone okay? I'll check upstairs. Where are you? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Ah, no, 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 you're going to be okay. No, no, you're going to be okay. It's quite safe. No.
Take Sam, keep him down here. Tony! What the hell is going on? This is fucking crazy! I'm not making this up! Let's go, let's go for your gun. Fuck. There was nothing we could have done. For the radiator to turn to us. Nothing. You can't think like that. Really? We should have never played that game. We should have never even come here. I was so stupid. Hey, not if this is your fault, okay? Well, you wouldn't have said that earlier. If, if I had just agreed to meet up with you, then, then we would have met up in town, and we I would have never had to have this elaborate plan to get us together. Yeah, well, you had good reason to cut me out. I was a shit friend. I don't care about that. I just want to get out of here. She's evoked. You're already playing a game. She'll come whether you say her name or not. Wait a minute. You set this up, didn't you? You told that legend in the wood on purpose you wanted us to play the game. I thought that if I passed it on. What are you talking about? You invoked her, didn't you? You played the game. And then she came for you. Yeah. Then she came for you. Yeah. She killed all my friends, and I thought if you did it, and you played, she'd let me go. You should be dead. It shouldn't have been Kate, it should have been you. I know, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You had us hit on purpose, but it didn't work, did it? You didn't break your curse. Otherwise, you wouldn't still be here. No. You're right. I got in the car, and it felt that way. Every time we, every single time we passed a corner, we turned a corner. The hostel came back into view. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I dragged you into this. So we're all just stuck here. We're all cursed. We just have to wait here and die. No, 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 wait. Well, what about the book? Oh, oh, the old book in the lounge? No, I can't read it. I don't know what it says. I don't even know whether it'll help. Yeah, but I can. I read some of it what, earlier. It's a thing about, about binding a witch. So we need that book? Yeah. Well, this means one of us has to go back inside. you're gonna be okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna run upstairs, get the first aid kit and run back out. You guys make sure you get that book. 
Where's the book? Up here. What was that? be dead when he couldn't summon him. Mary killed him. She took him somewhere else. It wasn't this world. Oh, no mention. I guess you could call it that. No. no the book literally says that Mary exists in a space made of hell. I've got the book. Mary being England at the stake. But, and this part, which, which has curse too, too, too powerful, we must, we must bind her to the trees. I think, I think they mean this, this path of the forest. Um, bound which cannot roam and, and hit. Hunt, hunt, bound which cannot roam and hunt. Um, can, only come if, if, if called, if it's inflections. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's what it says. I, I think, I think another witch, a, a good one, they had to bind Mary to this place. But when they did, something must have gone wrong or something. They made it so that whoever invoked Mary was also bound. Okay. I think... I think the invocation finds both of us in place. So, even when I tried to leave, I couldn't when I tried to pass it off. Yeah, thanks for that. Where were Elena? Elena, where's Danny?
Oh, guys, guys, we've got to burn the book. We have to. We have to burn the book. We, we need to hurry. We need to do this for Kate. For all of us. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> 